Hello, Carla from Scrap and Create, and today I'm here to do a, a product reveal of the newest Stamperia collection that we just got in. It's called Fortune. This collection has to do with a lot of alchemy. We have palm reading, tarot cards, numerology, astrology, um, and some ancient Egyptian symbology also. So a lot of stuff going on in this beautiful paper collection. So this is this is the the 12 by 12 core design. So we're going to go through this. Start off with our sentiment page. I always love Stamperia sentiments. They're so inspiring. Every moment is a sacred ritual, a step on our path. I just I just love these sentiments. And we have this beautiful page with this beautiful lady. And you can see our palm reading here. Another beautiful page, beautiful coloring. And this just kind of flows into this page. And we have our elixirs down here, our magic potions. This is a beautiful image to be able to cut out and use as a, some kind of pocket it would be great in a mini album. Here's our herbal spells. And then we get to gems. What they say is minerals are the oldest storytellers. So we have some beautiful minerals there. Crystals. gems and crystals, and then we get to my favorite part, which is ancient Egypt and their symbology. We have this beautiful winged cat down here, the pyramids, the sphinx, the eye of Horus. Hieroglyphics, a pillar, just some beautiful images. Very detailed image imagery here. The cosmos again. Some more cosmos, beautiful round image. Numerology. Not sure what this is, uh, it's numbers, <laughs> what are ancient Egyptian symbols, I don't know. Here we come to tarot cards. I love tarot cards, they're just so beautiful to look at. This page is the Good Fortune, beautiful, beautiful page. Here's all the tarot cards. These images are beautiful. Beautiful imagery in these tarot cards. The emperor, the, the strength, death, the world, judgment, the sun, moon, the stars, the tower. Beautiful. Here's the back of the tarot cards. Also very beautiful. And then we come to these circular images very pretty. Beautiful background. And then we have some cards pulling out some of the, the beautiful images from the collection. And I always love the back of the cards. I think the back of the cards are even more beautiful to me. I just love these background images. And then we have our cut aparts. So that is the 12 by 12 core design. And of course it comes with what they call, these are the backgrounds, they calling it the land of pharaohs. So this is mostly to do with ancient Egypt. So this is basically all Egyptian 
type backgrounds, Egyptian inspired backgrounds. Start off with hieroglyphics. This is a beautiful sheet here. I love this image with the pyramids and the sphinx and the pillars. This is, this is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous page. And this is one of my favorite pages just because I like this edging up here. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Some more hieroglyphics here with ancient Egypt's Egyptian scene down here. Some more beautiful backgrounds. Some more hieroglyphics. A background sheet. Some more. I love this page too. Got the Eye of Horus. I think that's the Eye of Horus down there. Some more hieroglyphics. We got our ivory, ivory white hieroglyphics and then this beautiful brown and turquoise. Just, I love this page here. This is, this is beautiful. This is a lot of texture right here. Beautiful coloring, texture, stripes, beautiful coloring here. If you've seen the Stamperia Savannah collection, this kind of reminds me of, of that feeling with these these colors they're just so beautiful another beautiful background rust browns and turquoises in here some more backgrounds loving this one gorgeous texture there beautiful coloring then it comes in the ivory, ivory, and some more hieroglyphics and Egyptian images, ancient Egypt on top. Oh, some more beautiful paper. I love this one. I don't know if you can see this image right here. Beautiful coloring. more beautiful paper yeah I am lo I'm loving this background this background paper is just I just love this love the coloring the textures so that is the land of pharaohs this is basically their background and then we have what they call their max maxi pad which has 22 single faced sheets basically this you know, if you know if you know Stamperia, once you cut into a core um, page from your your pack, you've lost an image because it only comes with one paper per per pad. So with this one, you have single face sheets. So if you cut into your core, you can still get the back side of the sheets because these are basically a repeat of what we just saw in the core. This page here was not found in, in the core and was not found in the background paper. This is unique to this, this pad here. This is from the core design, core, core, the core. These are all from the core paper pack. your cutouts, circles, your sentiments, the backgrounds of your cards. These are unique to this, this, um, this pad where you have these images. I think they're five, what are they? Five and five eighths image sizes squares. So these are unique to this, this pad. So you have these lovely images and these big square images. And then their backsides. So this is unique to this 
this um, pad also. This is from the core paper. This is from the core paper. This is from the backgrounds. This is from the backgrounds. Um, this is from the core. And that's it. So this just gives you an option. So if you cut into your core pack, you have some backups here. These, these same three, three pads also come in the eight by eight, the core designs, the background, and the, the maxi pad with this, the single face sheets. So those come in the eight by eight also. Next we have the rice paper. So the rice paper comes in a packet of six. Four of these you can buy individually and I'll show you those. They are 8.3 by 11.7 in size, inches. So this first one is called, let me do these individually, is called face. So this is face, a beautiful image. And you can see it has kind of a, a gold shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. But beautiful, beautiful rice paper. That is face. This next one is called alchemy. Another beautiful image of, with those magic potions. That's alchemy. So those first two images only come if you get the six pack. These next four images, you can buy them individually if you wish. This one is called Winged Cat. So it has that beautiful cat image down below with the pyramids. This next one is called Egypt. Beautiful gold shimmer there, Egypt. This one is called Astrology. Another beautiful image. And this last one is called Macrocosmic. What is it called? Macrocosm. Another beautiful image. So that's the rice paper collection. Next, we're going to look at their adhesive um, ephemera cutouts. I always like these. These are always so beautiful. So let's have a look. I'm going to just open this up so you can see. I always like to see what they are. Let's just open them up and have a look. So you have this beautiful winged lady with, I'm sure this, this symbolizes something. Uh, let's see. A number eight, the moon, a candle. Ooh, that looks cool. That candle looks very cool. And this all has that that gold kind of sheen to it. If you saw Sir Vagabond in Fantasy World, um, it has that same kind of sheen. Another number, some cards. like a crystal ball. A tarot card, the moon, that is very pretty. Some gems. Potions, some more gems. Another tarot card, oops, tarot card there. Another tarot card, the star. 
another number, so lots of numbers, a book, beautiful crystal ball, your magic potions, the cat, I hope I'm getting these in, the cat, very pretty. Elixir of Dreams. Very pretty. Transform your life. Some more gems, crystals. Palm, reading your palm. Life path. Another moon. Magical plants, elixir of life, another beautiful candle, I'm loving these candles, and some, lots of gems, 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 a crow, more gems, and Looks like a little potion bottle. So very, very pretty uh, ephemera cut cutouts. So I'm gonna have to put those back in the bag. So now we're gonna look at their die cuts. Now their die cuts are pretty thick, so you know these are heavy duty. So these make great, these are great for your, your covers if you wanna add a lot of dimension. So let's see what's in here. There's always so many things in here. Lots of stars. I'll just put the stars all over on one side and the gems on one side. And some leaves, 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 stars. This, not sure what it is, but it is pretty. A planet. The moon, mystery and wonder. See how thick, those are pretty thick. The eye of Hor Horus, I think that's a lotus plant. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift. Yes, indeed. A pillar, got some pillars, a pyramid. This huge cosmic circle, very nice. Some hieroglyphics, another, it's kind of like a Mandela, but it's not. Ooh, this beautiful, if you like cats, the beautiful winged cat. Some of our candles, another lotus. I don't know if that's a moth. That looks like a moth. A smaller pyramid. Are these the same? No, they're facing the opposite side. Ooh. These are facing the opposite side. Another circle image. Some more planets. And smaller eye. Well, these are going in the opposite direction. So I know one is the Eye of Horus and the other is the Eye of Rape, but I don't know which one's which. Some gems, gems, another candle, another moon, a butterfly or moth, not sure which, another one, a smaller winged cat, looking in different directions. A vase, another vase. Some greenery, some crystals, some planets, a round circle thing, some more gems and stars. 
and crystals. So very nice, very nice collection of these wood, these um, die cuts. So I put those back in their bag. So next there is the washi pad. I've never used a washi pad either. So if any of you have, um, let me know what you think of these. I guess they're adhesive, so you cut them out and they're adhesive just like washi. So lots of beautiful images in here. I'm just loving the tarot cards. I don't know why I like these tarot cards. Very pretty. Very pretty. Yes, I like these. The Magician, Judgment, Elixir of Life, Dreams Come True. And then you have your striped washi, which I always love. I love striped washi. And then this, this one. Very nice. I need to start using these because they just look like fun. So that's the, the washi. Next, we have the wooden shapes. Now, these wooden shapes are even thicker. They're even thicker than the, the die cuts. So these are very, very thick. And these are the images that you get in the wooden shapes, the pillars, the cat, the eye of Horus, the pyramids, some a moon, a planet, and some of these circular images and the palm. So this is the wooden shapes. Then we come to decorative chips. I've never used decorative chips. They look like they would be real interesting and I've just never used them. I know um, people that are into three-dimensional media type projects, they, they can use these and build them up, but I've never used them. Very beautiful images. There's the first time I've seen the ox, and that's a very important symbol. That I know. And here's some numerology. So those are the decorative chips. So I think I've gone through everything that we have in our shop. So these are now shipping. So if you if you like this, please let me know what you think of it. And if you've ever used any of these um, these washi pads, washi pads before, let me know. I'd like to know how how to how you use them. And the the rice paper, I got to use that rice paper. So that's it for Stamperia's new collection, Fortune. So we will see you guys later. Bye.